Hi, this is Greg Shields, and I'm going to show you the hard way how to make decisions when you're mapping drives in logon scripts. You've probably played with logon scripts before. Down here in Group Policy Management, typically our logon scripts are connected to our default domain policy. That means that that logon script will execute for everyone as soon as they log into the domain. If I take a look at that, you'll see here under User Configuration is this Windows settings called Scripts Logon Log Off. If I double click Logon here, I can add a logon script here and actually configure the domain so that when users log in, they'll get that logon script. I can do the same thing here under PowerShell scripts. Now what's interesting, however, is both of these locations only create a connection so that users and their computers know to go look for a particular script when they log on to the domain. I haven't actually created the script yet. I've got to do that in a tool like Notepad. Now when I create that logon script, I kind of have to do it, well, all by myself. There aren't a lot of tools out there, at least natively inside of the Windows operating system, to help me out. There are some third-party tools out there, but let me show you how you can do it with Notepad. Now there are a couple of options available to you. The, obviously you can use the net use command and map the S drive to a location like server shared finance. Now that's not terribly good when it comes to making decisions. Maybe I want to uh, map a drive not just to server shared finance, but to the username that is a subfolder uh, of the finance folder. I can do net use and then the S drive to server shared finance and here's the variable percent username percent. This variable name will turn into whatever that username is whenever the user logs on. Now that's great also but maybe I'm not really interested in just making a decision based on that user's username. Maybe I've got other things that I need to base that drive mapping on instead. This is really where the, we get to the limit of what batch file scripting can do and I have to move to some other scripting language like perhaps VBScript. Here in VBScript, I have to create a wscript.network object and then use the map network drive method of that object to map S to server shared finance. What you should see here is that while VBScript and its cousin PowerShell are far more powerful, well, there's a lot more texts that are required in order to be able to do what you need to do. Now still, all we're doing at this point is mapping the S drive to server shared finance. We're not actually making any decisions at this point. And it's here where things get a little squirrely. I'm not going to show you the PowerShell method because I'll leave that up to Don Jones. But what I will show you is an easy VB script method that you can do to make some very basic decisions. In order to do that, I'm going to paste in another script here. To do so, I have to create again a net, uh, wscript.network object. And uh, I have to create an object here for AD system info. And what this essentially lets me do is connect into the Active Directory to get the username. Once I have that username, then I can find out, well, what groups is that user a member of? I'm taking the current user, I'm finding out what groups they're a member of, and then I'm joining it all together into a nice string and giving me the lowercase value of that string. Then I can say on the bottom here, if the word finance appears in that string, well, then go ahead and map the R drive to server shared finance. I've made one decision here, but probably what I want to do is actually make multiple decisions now that I've set up all these structures to be able to do so. Here's a much larger script where you'll see that the finance, accounting, and IT groups are included in the if-then statement. Here, if it's in the finance group, I map the R drive to finance. Accounting maps the S drive to accounting, and IT maps the T drive to IT. So again, in order to be able to make these decisions, I'm going to have to come up with some sort of scripting because all I have are the native tools alone.